you're now in tune to the yo, this is crazy, man. You're now in tune to the Pad Masters radio show, River West Radio FM 104.1 FM WXRW LP Music News and Interviews for Producers by Producers. Oh, I missed on that. Y'all oh, yeah, it. we're going to have we to gotta do it again. We got to do, do it again. again. Let's do it again. We got to do it All again. Right. Let's do it again. The Milwaukee Pad Man. No, the Pad Masters Radio Show, River West Radio 104.1 WXRW LP. Music news and interviews for producers by producers. By producers. Let's go, man. Let's go. Come that on. Sounds good. Let's what run episode it. is this? This Set. is six. Seven, six, 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 yeah, six, 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 yeah, buddy. See, we we so consistent, we losing count. Wow, (laughs) man, it's going down. We losing count right now. Yeah, that's consistency, (laughs) man. Consistency is key. That's right. That's always. Yo, man, I always got a shout out, man. I always got a shout out to the Milwaukee Pad Masters crew, man. I got one of the most solid crews in the world, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me introduce my crew, man. I am yours. Mecca Milo is along with my brethren, Lido, and your boy Elite Tracks, and your boy Hurricane. Let's go, man. Hey, man, and we making moves too, by the way, man. So if y'all follow us, man, yo, get engaged, man. Get engaged in what we doing, man. Especially, really get engaged with the Milwaukee Pat Masters. Um, yo, Pat Masters Radio Show is pretty much one of the things that's been missing, and Hip hop, it's not even just in the producer community. I mean, like we we're, we're really highlighting the greatest to ever do this. Like we're highlighting facts, that. Facts, like this facts. is needed. You know what I'm right. saying? This right. is history in the making, history and history making. that's producing. I'm never been done. This is real right here. Trendsetters, <laughs> trendsetters, <laughs> yes. definitely. I like that, Lido. Oh like yeah, man. <laughs> you just man. you just let that just slide out, <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? Pause. <laughs> <laughs> you you got to do the pause. You got to take a seat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Sip tea. Oh, man. Sip tea. Yeah. Like, you might have some. You might have you some know. tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shout out Oh man, it might be some yak too. Uh, <laughs> I mean, what's in the cup, Doc? What's in the cup? What's in the cup? What's you got up in there? Oh no, it's just it's just coffee. Very innocently, some coffee. Uh, right, 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 right. Right. That's like my primary cool. beverage. Right now. Right. Hey man, I take it. I, I take coffee just straight black. You know what I'm saying? Pause again. So, yeah, you gotta relax, look, yeah this is oh, not man. my this is yeah, not gotta, my moment right yeah, now yeah, you gotta <laughs> relax Kane. you saying, gotta relax like, like, <laughs> like, yeah like, yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Yo, nah that, that's a lot of pauses it's going not on good. Right yeah, too yeah. Already, it's, it's not good even five minutes in <laughs> yeah man yeah yeah let's have a moment of silence then you know what i mean like for all the pauses that we need you know hey yo man we got we we got a very very, very, very special guest on the show today, man. Um, let me just, let me, let me, is I got, I got to work on my introductions. I don't think I'll be doing the best. I'll be trying to do my best of these intros, man. Because it's I, like, I it, the different though. Because yeah, everybody, yeah, everybody yeah. say you do a great intro. Yeah, because everybody that we interview, bro, do does so much amazing things. I just want to make sure it's, 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 yeah, it's cohesive. Right. It's right. It's you know what I'm saying. But this is Doc Brash right here, man. We're interviewing. The one and only doc. This is like, um, as far as the as far as the finger drumming community. This is our superhero. This is our Fact. Superman. That whatever superhero you could think of, man. Like this is our superhero right here, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, just the Appreciate way. Not only not only the way he finger drums, and like you know, we we have to be careful because I know Doc Brass would prob- probably agree with this. Um, he is a producer. Let's not get it twisted. He right. can sit there and make the beat for you, and all that, uh-huh. and all that. But I think, peace, peace. I think he's more so, um, a performer when it comes to this. You know what I'm saying? Like yep. he, 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 he's he performs, man. When you see his placements, when you see how how he gets down, 
it's it's crazy. And me as a finger drummer, when I see the pad placements, when I see the and we'll get to more, we'll get into more of that later. You know what I mean? But um, this is a guy that as far as the finger drumming community, we all look at him as like like he's our superior. He's like kind of like, you know, how uh if you're a boxer, you know, um in in a boxing realm, you'll look at somebody like Muhammad Ali as being a person that speaks for all because because of what he represented right. and, and, and what he stood for. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, because right. he was always just strictly, yeah, I got this skill and I do this. But the reason why I'm doing this is for the people. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so you sure. so you have people like that in other in, in different genres of things. And and this is one of them. So got the rock. Wow, that is a good thank you for such a wonderful intro. My God, that was yeah. beautiful. I mean uh, I, I appreciate the kind words, man. Thank you so much for having me. I'm happy to be here. It's just the real man. And y'all see the we're gonna get to that mask back there later. We're gonna get <laughs> yes. to that. We're gonna get to that this is later. This is what a superhero dons. Yeah. And when that mask comes on, you you yeah. better watch out. We're going to definitely yeah. talk about that mask. We're going to talk about right. the, whole, the whole origin of... of we're going to talk about all that, man. You know what I mean? But before we get into the interview, first of all, this is the Pad Masters radio show, River West Radio 104.1 FM, WXRW, LP. Music news and interviews for producers by, by producers. producers. Let's get it, man. So we got to start off with you already know. We got to start off with the Pat Masters news. <laughs> All right, so look, man, we're gonna talk about this, man, because like me as a Akai user, you know, I use NPC. Everybody know I use NPC Live, NPC X, NPC. Everything. Whatever, man. If right. it's got NPC yeah, yeah. in front of it and some numbers behind it, I probably didn't touch that that that, that, that thing a couple times. Yeah. And yeah. then is, is I made a few 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 I made a, a wild amount of beats on, on probably every NPC you can think of, right? Mm -hmm. So they got this new thing out called NPC Stems. Yeah. Right. Yeah, everybody the, was very excited about it, right? Something Everyone, that sounds useful, you know, something yeah, that could be useful. Because yeah. because the technology of it is basically, basically, for those that don't know, basically the technology of NPC stems basically is, is a plug-in within the NPC, mm -hmm. right, that you can use to separate songs. So it's like if you dump a song inside NPC stems, it'll separate uh the piano for you, the drums, the bass line, the vocals, and, and track it out, and, and kind of track it out for you and all that, so you can manipulate those those sounds into your uh, current production, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, the reason why this is news is because you know it, it got mad praise, you know, and 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 consumers were on the wait to like they they couldn't wait for this to be released you know to uh, drop and then when it dropped so it got mad praise prior to it getting dropped and then when i know a few people that got the beta tests and um they had mixed emotions about it but then when it actually dropped to the public a, a lot of um pro producers that i've seen on instagram retracted a lot of the statements about it Mm. You know, mm. they were kind of like it wasn't. You know, it's not ready yet. And also, uh, interesting fact, I, I guess look, I haven't tried it yet, me personally. But uh, from what I've been reading, um, it only works on controller mode. So oh, for wow. now, yeah, that's it's not really a standalone thing right now. So you can only that's what it if is. from from my understanding, and I could be and Doc Brass. You're more than welcome to join into this news if you have an opinion on it. But oh, I, sure. I, 
But like, but but I just want to know what y'all think about it. Like, like how do y'all think about this well, NPC stance? I mean, have y'all used it or have have y'all? We all know about it. I haven't used it, but I, this is what I will say, and I know uh, some people would be like, "Well, you don't even you don't even use it, so shut up." But <laughs> no, nah, if you expecting this to come out as a standalone situation, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you like, hey, this is gonna be this. I mean that that you want that functionality when you're not at the crib you know not not when you plugged up you know meaty you know what i'm saying and using the software or whatever you're trying to be on the go with that if you right. are if you know just on producer mode that workload you know your your workflow whatever you want to be able to use that that they don't put out right right yeah. then and use it as in the standalone not with the software yeah i'm just saying <clears throat> if that's what it's supposed to be you know what I mean? I, yeah, okay, it'll get there, but why it didn't come out like that? I right. mean, that, that feel like, that's like a video game you buy that you have been waiting on, you know what I'm saying? And then <laughs> you beat it in two sudden, hours, right. and then you're like, hey, <laughs> or, or or it just didn't come with all of the downloads yet. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, you done right. bought this game, and you waiting on downloads, so yeah. it's kind of like you had people on the on the hook. And see, you, that's funny. Get it. Yeah, because that's funny. No disrespect at all to a guy or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Right. But never, never. Just have people on the hook though. Right. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm a proud over. Uh, I'm a proud owner of an MPC one, and you know, I was considering getting this. And yeah, you know, to hear this, yeah, that is very unfortunate. I mean, I mean, why put it only on a controller? You know, or, they dogging it, man. Right. They to me, it. to me, you can't have software if it's hard to wear. Get it? Mm -hmm. See what I did there? Mm, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm that saying? Was, that was I like that. See, that, okay. that was yeah. That That's was, kind of slick, man. Yeah, I like that. It's like That's thank, you, slick. thank you. Smooth. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, I, I think that uh, considering uh, as an MPC user and for their entire history, stemming has been this consistent hurdle inside of like our life, right? Like tracking out everything is always just like for every MPC. You always have to solo your tracks and track out each one. And mm -hmm. especially when you're using like the older ones, like I am like the 2500. So to have something so long awaited be so, I guess, limited in its exposure, you know, and like uh, in the way that you can actually utilize it. I think it's such there's so many um, there's so much inspiration in the music industry to look at at how you can accomplish such a task easily. Mm -hmm. Right. Like people get influenced from each other all the time, and people have been trying to replicate the Akai pad style for a long time, right? Mm -hmm. Because they're influenced by the feel of what it is. So I think that if this is the best that they could come up with, and then to charge money for it, it's not, you know, kind of just doesn't feel good, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, but it, 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 at the other side, we live in a digital world. So we're, uh, I think that for most digital users, it's not, it's, I guess you could say it's, uh, better to have something than nothing but i don't like breadcrumbs i want the meal exactly mm -hmm. right yeah. <laughs> right it's like trying to put on a shirt that you know you haven't put on for like two or three years and it still doesn't fit it, mm -hmm. it you know? still <laughs> doesn't fit. yo hey yo analogies be crazy first of all hey, that was a crazy hey, analogy I, I live for this man i live but for it this. definitely made sense this is crazy yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. sanity <laughs> yes, yeah, like, 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 one, one, one thing you guys say, say about it, or you, you, have you tried it yet? Or I haven't tried it. Um, I think there's something like that would be cool if um, you could stem or you could stem out anything. That would be dope. I mean, you can't. I mean, you can. No, I'm saying like but... if you thought like if you try to sample like let's just say for instance like you try to sample like a Prince album. Yeah. And there was a certain song and you put the song on and stem out everything on that song. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah they, they got it. I mean, are you guys using AI for that yet? Great. Well, me personally, I use AI. Look, man. I ain't I don't. <laughs> oh, and I gotta oh. give y'all one of my secrets. <laughs> Failing the secret. I use yo. <laughs> yo go ahead, tell them, bro. I'll, I'll yo. tell you guys what I use. I, I don't hold anything back. I you use BandLab, B. Hey, you oh, really? Oh, the well, band lab. I bet it's on your phone. You can just, you know what I mean? Get the, see, you get the file. I, from, I heard of BandLab. You can just YouTube to MP3, the 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 uh the YouTube joint, whatever you want to join, and run that through BandLab. 
and then go ahead and download those drinks off of that and then run that back and then put that in your SD card, all type of stuff. But I ain't give you the particulars. Yeah, but yeah it's man. a process. Uh, it's right. a process, Let's but hey. That. I mean, only the listeners process. of this show will learn this, you know. Yeah. So, you know, they will have to learn the tricks of the trade. Everyone yeah, else, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta give yeah, you. I mean, like uh, the the uh, as much as I love to be like an uh, as old school influenced as I am, right? Uh, and I love using standalone hardware to d- uh, not use um, like modern tools to make your creativity, you know, be- like more like more uh, fulfilling to yourself. Uh, I think you're selling yourself short because I use I use AI Moises M O I S E S Moises. Have you guys heard of this? No, I, I haven't. No. But I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, yeah, it's an app. You can download it. I have it on my phone. And in a similar vein to uh, what Mecca was just saying, you know, you can uh, either you know record it directly into your uh, in, into uh, your computer to download it, or you can just do like a YouTube to converter to download the audio however you get the audio that you can put it into the moises app right okay. uh it's it's an ai that separates the tracks wow oh, man yeah so that like brings it in it, and it, knows where it's stuff. beautiful and it's so good you know so like it says for me i i do it at work all the time it's as easy as taking when one of the students wants to sample something off of youtube right i just look it up put it through a converter download it onto my phone upload it to the app takes about five minutes for it to isolate everything and then it's literally just oh you want the you wanted it without drums you can just take out the drums right take right. out the vocals have the hook that we're all hearing that we want that we want to sample mm. and, it, and it's really really awesome to use i use it all the time because it just opens up now your creativity for what you hear when you're listening to sample like possible samples oh wow right yeah. so it's dope so I highly support Span bots out there that's, that's using AI for other stuff. This is what you could be using it for. Yo, for <laughs> real. Yes. Right. Yeah. That's use it. Like, use it. Use oh. it for good, not for evil. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. There's so much of that. I mean, I hashtag AI lives matter. No doubt. <laughs> yo, yo, so so I don't know. That's that's pretty much Pad Master's news. Let's start this interview since we're already, you know what I mean. Yes, sir. already starting person, to bubble. You know yeah, starting to bubble yeah. right. The Pad Masters Radio Show, River West Radio, one or four point one FM WXRW. L-B. Music news interviews for producers by, by producers. producers. Yo, episode six. We are here, man. Yo, yeah, Miss Lewis episode. Yes, yes. Yeah, episode great. six. Round of applause on this, man. No doubt, Where man. Where we came got the, from to now? Yeah, man. We got man. the one and only Doc Brass in the building. First oh. of all, Doc Brass, man, thank you for being on the show, man. Can you just let us know? First of all, let us know how you're feeling and let us know where you're calling from. Uh, well, so I, uh, well, th- first, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate you guys, you know, sharing your space with me. Respect. Uh, as I'd say, I woke up, I'm still pretty. So I'm going to do nothing wrong with my life right now in that regard, you know? Uh, so I'm feeling, I'm feeling very well, you know, feeling very well. And Good just, uh, and you woke up and you had the opportunity to experience life and life is the gift. So appreciate the present Thanks. kind Indeed. of thing, you know? Right. So, yeah. Right. And, oh, and I'm calling from the Bronx. You know, oh, that's why yeah, 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 love. That's a Boogie Bronx. No way. BX. Yeah, Doc Brass, truth, man. Yo, I'm a I'm a I'ma kick it off. I'm just gonna go ahead and kick it off, man. Like this is you know, I got this little moment where I where I explain how I know certain individuals, man. The like Mecca Doc moment. Brass. Yeah, the Mecca moment. The Mecca, <laughs> the Mecca moment. <laughs> um <laughs> Doc Brad is very important to me, man. I, I I think a lot of other finger drummers around the world, you know what I mean, would think the same. You know, um, like when you bring up somebody like, like Doc Brad, this is like like I said, you know what I mean? He's he's our superhero, man. And um, you know, um I just wanna just get it out the way as far as with that, with with, with this question that I have. Uh you um something happened with you um prior to uh, cuz my like 
you see Doc Brass, you always see him with the mask. It's this famous uh quote that Ghostface Killer got. It says, since since the face been revealed, game got real. You know what I'm saying? Real talk, though. You know, and just me yeah. knowing, and we'll, and, and, and we'll get to other producer influences later, or he might bring it up now, but um, can you just talk about the reason why the face was, was revealed? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, um, so... Uh, I guess just for the context for for new listeners uh, th- who aren't aware of like kind of what I do, uh, I have I was very influenced by MF Doom in many ways. Uh, you know, he's uh, a true hero of mine, one of those artists that just speaks to you on such a level, right? So like I when I knew when I uh, wanted to start my my quote unquote music career, right? Like and really just kind of dive in. Uh, I wanted to do it as an artist, right? As a as a performance artist, and um, I've decided to kind of take on the vein of the you know anonymous masked guy, right? right. Uh, I love comic books, and I'm a superhero nerd, and all that kind of stuff. So, like, I decided to make just make my artist the exaggeration of myself, right? So, I like superheroes. I want to be, you know, you aim to be the change you want to see in the world. So I decided to don a mask, but, you know, try and hide myself. All of my posts for the first five, well, six years of my uh, career, uh, it was uh, I wouldn't show my face online and I would go out of my way to like hide myself or like change in, uh, when I was out doing live sets. Right. And and I would still get found. But point is that I would go I, w- I would put in the effort to try and remain this anonymity. Mm-hmm. Um and you know uh technically a combination of like life goals and and career pursuits but then most primarily what mech is refer- referring to is uh the uh health incident that took place in uh last june of 2023 was uh long story made short uh i had uh, a lung collapse uh after nine years of having six consecutive uh, like six other lung collapses oh, wow. so unbeknownst to most people who who even know me well or have been following me throughout my career they they would never have known that like from the age of 18 to 27 uh my lungs would go down and collapse on me like every year year and a half right it would go like right lung left lung and reason because I am tall, skinny, and beautiful, so they have to, uh, like, there's, like, an Sense issue of humor, with that. by the way. Yeah, you got it. Right? <laughs> um, I'm tall and skinny, and I have, ab- and it turns out, I have abnormally large lungs, right? So it takes two x-rays to uh, actually get a picture of my lungs. Um, oh. And so, so pretty much the point is, is that, you know, that was a thing I had to deal with. I had gotten surgeries back in the day that were supposed to have like, you know, solved the issue. I didn't have a lung collapse for nine years. Right. Uh, my, and my entire career didn't have any lung issues, but as is the case with this particular lung challenge, uh, that comes very spontaneously. Um, it happened again after nine years and it was a bad one and where, and then, um, they did another major surgery on this, uh, on my right side of my lung where that this time they actually are snipping parts of my lung off right so in recovery and all that fun stuff i uh just didn't know like you know trying to get back into finger drumming like you know things just kind of changed and and certainly when it came down to wearing a mask where this thing has no ventilation right it's like a straight cast right right and so uh breathing inside this thing is very difficult and there's a lot of moisture and it turns out that it was really just like highly recommended that it be something that i reconsider doing Mm, right right Mm. and uh or at the very least uh you know pursue having another mask made uh that does have a much more proper ventilation yeah Uh, but but that's a complicated matter because the the mask at this point as i'm uh, maybe mecca can attest to this is like this is what doc looks like this mask right here yeah any changes to the mask changes what he looks like right 
And so creating a mask that has proper ventilation while still maintaining the integrity of, mm -hmm. of the look mm -hmm. is a whole new challenge and certainly something that I didn't, don't have a budget for at the moment. Right. right. I hear that. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not in this economy. Come on, guys. Yeah, uh, so, <laughs> yeah this was a great, uh, lucky investment because the guy who made this, very talented guy, that was the first music artist he ever made a mask for. So he hooked it up on the price. You know what I mean? Out of the, right. like, I don't really know what I'm doing kind of thing. Right. So we'll work the best out. Yeah, but, I'm excited to create something for you too, probably. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, right. It was like a whole new uh, frontier for him. And yeah. so, but, but so since the lung collapse, and I still, so like, I'm still uh, numb, like on this side of my body. I have like uh, down here on my ribs. Uh, it, it gets a little annoying. And while I'm fine, like numbness isn't pain. It's just numbness, okay. right? Uh, but, you know, doing uh, half hour to hour long finger drumming routines with a mask on is something that now I needed to navigate how I'm going to do that in the future kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. And so that uh, so th not wearing a mask then became a major component. So it's like, OK, do I reveal myself? How do I do this? And the reality in terms of career is that unlike the villain, rest in peace, my hero, him being a villain, my I ironic hero, mm -hmm. um, is that he sought out seclusion, right? And with the kind of work that I want to do as the superhero that I am, because I'm not a villain, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, uh, it involves a lot more communication with the community. So how can I be anonymous and communicate with the community simultaneously. It's just a, a whole nother ballpark. So eventually people are going to have to find out who I am and how I roll and all that kind of stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. And all they're going to find out is that I'm the same. And it like, turns out doc is me and I am doc kind of like on some, I am, I am Iron Man type, type, type stuff. Um, and so, uh, so sorry. And then, um, but like when it came down to, yeah, so it was like between career coming down to the career and then coming down to the taking care of my health and not trying to suffocate myself in the mask. Mm. Uh, the the idea of, you know, revealing myself and having it be more of a cohesive art brand, right? So Doc isn't going away as a design, as a concept, you know, art, merch, you know, I'm, I'm still the pursuits of a mask. So any mask makers here in this, like, feel free to contact me and negotiate. You know what I mean? Yeah, there we go. But like uh, as uh, all that stuff doesn't go away, but it certainly does make for what is going to end up being a long term career change in terms of how uh, people get to see both Doc and me. Right. 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 So uh, I guess that's the long winded answer of kind of like the, the health scenario and the career scenario that, you know, led to this reveal after the entire career was anonymity. And I know a lot of people were very kind of shocked by it, uh, but but the community was very loving about it. Not as I didn't. I mean, everyone was just like you know, complimenting the uh, the fact that I just it's me that matters, not necessarily just you know Doc Brass as a in, in the abstract, you know. Yeah. You know, well, well, well. I would say this: the good thing is. Um, it didn't affect your finger drumming, brother. So I mean, you still able. <laughs> it didn't affect that. Yeah, either. it only. Well, it did. It did. It did technically affect it insofar as like you know, I definitely have to uh, maneuver a little differently sometimes based off oh, of like so it, how, the, okay. how the ribs feel. You know, um, and exhaustion is still a thing. You know, but right, right. Uh, you know, due to my uh. uh exploration and finger scratching and using the mpc to yeah also like you know uh imitate a turntable uh it allows me to do uh like a, a blend of a show right and and my approach that i am taking not to spoil performances and how they will be in the future but the idea is that initially i open up with beats and finger scratching and kind of show off some of that okay. flair uh, and then I don the mask and do the finger drumming, right? Oh. For a shorter period of higher intensity kind of, yeah. uh, kind of stuff and, and, and kind of combine these, 
these forces of both. So the finger drumming I can still obviously do. It's not like all of a sudden I can't do it, but there are some new norms that I have to work through and maybe just train back up, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. So it hasn't even been a year yet. So you never know, like technically over the next couple of years, I can get, get my strength on this side and stamina back to what I had, you know, a few years ago kind of thing. Right. Um, but it's still a beautiful experience and like i uh i take advantage of the opportunities and the challenge of like what what's this life like with people who get to uh, see the nerd under the mask you know okay. <laughs> Man, respect, no, but i got a question um yep. who came up with the design for the mask my best friend uh pat who i've known since uh high school uh, he actually drew the original Doc Brass design when we were in um, Earth Fury class, and I always loved this. It was a robot machine, like I like standing, like an android, like just like standing on a cliff looking up, and I just always connected with it, right? So uh, when it and I uh, when it came to time to choose, like how do I want to make a mask? I asked him if I could use the design. Nice. Uh, and he and he gave me the graces. I actually have a tattoo of uh, like the original Doc Brass over here because the original does not have like the same pointed style thing. Mm. Actually, uh, more the artwork that is on some of my more recent albums is more reflective of the kind of more antler esque antennae that are on the original design. Yeah. Um, but that's where the inspiration comes from. Nice. Respect to your homie, man, because that mask is dope. Yeah, yeah, like, shout legendary. Out right? Yeah. Legendary. Yeah, I, I, just, I always told him, man, that he should be right. doing art, and he was always like, my art's not good enough, and I'm like, stop. I'm going to fashion an entire career out of it, and you're going to see how yeah. people love it. You know what I mean? Right. Like, yeah. the job you, you have what it takes. Yeah. We got to have more confidence in ourselves. That's mm, right. Yeah. No, and our and and then right, and the people next to us too. You know what I'm saying? That's doing something. You know, have mm-hmm. confidence in that person too, man. Yeah, right. you know, have confidence in each other. You know, right? Yeah. Exactly. You're both in it together, so you know whether is or whether it's hell and high water, you're gonna be in it together. So we mm-hmm. both got to step out of it together. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. Uh, well, shout out to Pat. Tommy. You said Pat, right? You said his name. Yeah, was- my brother Pat. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Shout out to yeah. Pat. Right. Shout, shout out, out to Pat. Shout out, right. homie. Well, you know, as we all know, your main inspiration is MF Doom, one of my yeah. most respected underrated lyricists in the world, and RIP to that man as obvious. Right. Now, RIP. if he was alive today, which one of your finger drumming masterpieces would he definitely be a definitive feature on? <laughs> we all know that man, mm-hmm. that man made a masterpiece in every notebook that he have touched over his years. So which one of your masterpieces would be would Don Doom? That's a really good question. It's actually it super difficult to answer only in the respect where um I don't like really name or remember the names of my tracks. Yeah, I was like that. Say that. Yeah, he, yeah. You know yeah. What I mean? like I, I'm like yeah. a horrible. I'm one of those like generic, like almost like that. Just like oh, it, it, it's the name. I'll usually the name of the the project is a pun of some kind of the original name of the track. Right, and uh, so I just never end up remembering it. And uh, but what I can say is that um, the, there have been actually so. I did make a couple acapellas that I've done live where I've gotten some doom acapellas and, and threw them and, and did a remix of some tracks that I've done live. Um, and so the, it's the, um, it's off of, I want to say it's off of KOD two. Um, there's a track that I use, I think it's track number four that I used for the acapella, um, of air. And, um, uh, and I am working on a, like on the on on like the low key. Don't expect this as some kind of announcement to hold me on to like a year from now when people are listening to this. Like, remember what Jack Brass said? He was doing a boogie boo. It's like no, okay. So you can't do that to me now. But I have made a list of doom acapellas that I will be gathering and doing a little my own underground EP kind of vibe of my own like brass doom type thing. It's yeah. a lifelong dream yeah, of mine, cool. and you know, I, I, I kind of wanted to. I was, I technically hoped that I would have made it before he died, so that he made it, could have potentially heard it, 
and then judged whether or not maybe I could have had that DM or not, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah right, right. Oh, I'm but, sure you definitely would have. I, I would, I, I agree. I Man. agree. Because I, I think. I mean, you never know. I, you know, I can't, uh, I, I would only hope so. But, you know, you all, they also say you never want to meet your heroes. Sometimes I enjoy true. the, um, the ignorance that is bliss, mm-hmm. right? And uh, and he can remain the the myth- mythological hero to me, right? Uh, for the rest of my life, uh, as much as I am saddened by the uh, like uh, inability to be able to collaborate with him, which would be just obviously like would have been a dream of mine. Um, very but... well spoken. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So so check this out, Doc. Um. So I'm watching your videos and, and of course, you know, I, I subbed up to the page, by the way. Um, so, you know, <laughs> just so you know, <laughs> subbed up. Yeah. Um, but I, I've been checking you out for a little bit, man. But it's there's there's something I keep seeing when you're doing what you're doing. Obviously, I see your setup that you have, but it's it's the, the filter and stutter situation. Now, I seen you got your your main. Then there's the gray box. And then there's this other thing that I seen 404-A, but I didn't see the front of it. Now, is that an SP-404? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So that, 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 I, I just needed to know that because like, I like to do live things myself. Like, and, and that's a piece that I'm missing right there. Cause I want to be able to, you know, bang, bang live, but be able to have those filters and those stutters and everything like that, you know, just to keep the vibe going. Cause you don't want to just be repetitive if you are banging something. And I mean, even if you got transitions, you want to be able to do those transitions with the, you know, with all you can do. Um, yes. 100%. Um, in, in the videos that you're referencing, the little gray box is the uh, pocket operator, the PO 33. Okay. Um, that joint. Or the, or the knockout or KO as it's referred to. And it's many right. names. Um, but I, I love that machine. I have two of them. Uh, I, I do stuff uh, with students on them all the time because it's just easy to carry around and we can sample whatever we want. Yeah, um, yeah. But in that, in those videos, where the the signal flow is generally KO running into the MPC and the MPC running into the SP, and then the SP running out to the mixer. Right. Um, so, and yeah. and that's so that the, the beat is generally on those tracks is coming from the KO. So, uh, right. So the beat was made on the KO. The MPC is being used for skits and scratches. And then the SP is being used for effects largely in those ones. Right. You know what I mean? It's really more of a, of a processor. Right. A lot of power in a small area, mind you. And people yeah. need to realize that as as you come up to be a producer so recognize this listen to every bit of equipment that you can right. at least learn right recognize hardware all day and that's right. and that's what i love i i like your style man because like you said already that you are a hardware user so that's just super cool that you know you stick into that and you got and the whole thing is you got it pumping you got it pumping thank you, thank you bro. oh thank you man yeah it's it's uh, i love I've I've definitely been getting more and more into the portable realm, especially when I got my first pocket operator, because I love the uh, home base that is the MPC. But you know, I even got uh, I got the new KO two, and uh, you know, made a couple uh, beats with that one, and it's a great sampler as well. Uh, and and just kind of being able to, the thing I I like is just kind of trying to t- uh, find these little nuances in how you can combine things. Right. And then like, you know, again, if uh, the the beats coming from here, but then the scratches are coming from here or if, uh, you know, yeah, it, it just kind of allows you to tweak stuff. Or on one of them, I had the sample on the KO. I had the drum breaks on the MPC mm-hmm. and I had them sync together so that I actually had the two different sources for the two different things. So it was like kind of a half and half in that one. Um. But yeah, you just like to mess around and have fun, man. You know. Yeah. No, you definitely look like you're having fun. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like yeah. you got to. Yeah. Right. yeah. If you ain't smiling and rocking with what you're doing, then you're just a zombie. Mm-hmm. Like, what are you right. doing it for? You know what I'm saying? Because you just numb. Yeah. To, you numb to what you're doing. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the other things in beat battling that you learn too. No. Oh, yeah. Your word. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Beat battle is a whole nother thing, man. You know, you can't just go to the beat battle with tracks that you like that you think people will like. You got to go with things that win a beat battle. 
Like okay. there's a thing to beat yeah. battles. You can't just bring yeah. your favorite track and expect right. to win. No, you, you know? gotta come in there and slap somebody. I'm yeah. Right. yeah, right, exactly. No, like yeah. you can't hey, go in the big. Hey. Right. There's, mm. there's a lot of listeners on it, so this one will do well. No, no, no. People might like that track. Right. Yeah. But like, that's not okay. gonna. That's not gonna bat. That's you're. That's not a battle track. Yeah, right. no, we're trying to turn yeah. faces ugly. Hey, that was like so real. Battle rapping, rapping, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a difference when you go to battle rap yeah. and you go to rap is a different ballpark. That's yeah, right. That's yep. real. Taking heads off, right? Yeah. That's yeah. real because um, you know what? That's 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 one of the producers. If y'all out here listening to this, man, and you want to get into beat battling, man, that that right there was a nugget right there. Mm-hmm. That yeah, was yeah. a jewel. Right there that y'all just got right there. Take yeah. that to heart. Take it to ever. heart, man. Yes. If, you, if you're going to enter these beat battles, man, don't go up in there thinking just because your man's told you it was fire or you think yeah. it's fire. These beat battles, like he said, is a different monster. Mm-hmm. This is yeah. not nothing to play with if you're going to mm-hmm. You don't go up there and get chewed up, man. Right. Yeah, you gotta go up there. It probably was fire. Yeah. The, the right. probably, probably was fire. fire. Yeah, for an artist. It's you know probably, probably like, fire like, for an artist, right? right it's right, probably right. fire for somebody to rap. <laughs> rap. Right. right. But a beat battle, battle, you gotta right. make you gotta make sure everybody that's in the crowd make that like doodle right. face. Make yeah, that face. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You gotta drop it to 70. You can't have any like of uh above 90 bpm battle beat you know what i mean that's just not gonna work at that point you're grooving you're not right. yeah. you're not getting right. that you're not getting the neck right. about to go out kind of rhythm you right. know what i mean right. Right. like uh so yeah. i mean granted that's just my humble opinion on the matter but at least at the very least you got to go in with a battle beat and go in knowing what you're going into if you're going to perform go to perform if you're going right. to battle go to battle right you know? don't come with a hummer ty- or which what you think is a hummer type beat <laughs> right. Yeah. Hey yo, so look, um, I got I gotta ask you this. You know, I ask everybody this, especially the finger drummers. Um now you can split this in half if you want. I'm a, I'm just gonna like a two-part question, but you can combine these. Give me your top five drum machines or just top five NPCs, whichever one you want to answer. Top five drum machines, uh are we are we talking like sixteen like a padded machine or are sequencers well, allowed in this or are step sequencers allowed? You can you can combine them. Combine, well, if you want to so, ask top five, I would like to hear your top five NPCs. But I know a lot of people. I know because you don't you you don't just that's use easy. Right. Uh, twenty five hundred four thousand, uh, one thousand, three thousand. Uh, and then live two. Mm-hmm. That live two always, yeah. and everybody listens. Yeah. I yeah. tell you, yeah. that live two, and everybody yeah. listens. It squeaks in on a technicality. I don't want to give it too much credit work, but but it is. It's especially in terms of modern equipment. It's battery operated. Has a built-in speaker. It's a standalone right. unit. Check, check, mm-hmm. check. You're getting, yeah. you're good. Check, That's check, top check. five material. USB outs on it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the drive. easiest one. Yeah, you, you can, can get busy. Right. You can get busy. Huge amount of space. Yeah, and exactly. uh, and and it's uh, you, for people who like the MPC X and the big boy. It's like oh, oh and I'll even uh, you know this is why I support the MPC one actually a lot. Usually I'll leave my I technically the one should have taken this place, but that's a different controversy I have with them. Okay. Uh, which it, but uh, the MPC X just is a standalone unit. It's too chunky. You know what I mean? And all right. of the PCs have the same software. So even if you have the one, you have the same overall functionality of what you get with the X, just with less things to tweak. Right. Right. Okay. Mm, right. Okay. That's a that's actually hey, that's a gem for people too. That's another mm-hmm. one. You know, yeah. if you're looking to uh grab a piece of hardware or whatever, there's there's your pros and cons. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the MPC um, one should have been uh could, the MPC one, and this is why I think Akai did it on purpose. I don't know why it, it's such a missed opportunity. If that thing was battery operated, it there wouldn't be a need for like half of the other machines that are out there. You know what I mean? But the, the fact that you need to plug it in is the biggest hit that that machine ever took. Right. Yeah, if they bro. Could just yeah, yeah. It, you know. Yeah. Uh, because that easily would have been number five instead because of the fact that you're not stacking software 
but yeah. you're getting even better affordability yeah. uh, and use. So yeah, and mind uh, you, they upgraded to an MPC One Plus, which will probably be on a future uh future show. But yeah, I don't want to get no, it. They upgraded. No, they yeah. just came out with the. Uh, yeah, they the came MP out with the uh, thirty-seven key. Yeah, 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 that one too. Yeah, yeah, that looks dope too. Yeah, that looks really dope. Not my style, but looks really dope. Yeah, you know. Hey, yeah. so look, uh, let, me, let me ask you. Let me ask you two more. Let me ask you two more top five questions. I got to So I know you. I, I still want to know your top five just drum machines overall. Just ex, ex excluding the NPC. Just your top five. Just controllers, drum machines, just anything any you use, samplers, Every anything. Yeah. Okay, samplers, hardware, anything. So, in no particular order, I have for no this one. Order. All right, right. The, you know, the you previous one. one was a little more strict when I really thought about how I would rank them. So that would be like more of an actual top five ranking for the yeah. NPCs. But for the uh, the samplers slash hardware, uh, the knockout, uh, uh, you know the the little guy, the PO thirty three. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, gray, the gray joint. Definitely the SP-404. Um, I would uh, technically say the two, but uh, traditionalists might have issues with that ranking. Um, but so the uh, SP-442. Um, then uh, the OP-1 okay. uh, by Teenage Engineering. Then the... Uh, Probably oh the SP twelve hundred. Oh yeah. And and cool. then uh because I'm trying to not use MPCs on here, obviously of any kind. Um and then I'll throw machine MK three on there. Okay. Word. Right. Okay. Word. Cool. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And um and um real 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 quick because we got some more questions we got real real quick i want to know your top five uh i, I asked everybody is all the finger drummers <laughs> top five finger drummers come on bro i know man i know bro i know <laughs> gnarly so. had gnarly had problems i'll yeah. give you five and two of the top five right, right? Doc Brass, Doc Brass, Doc, Doc Brass. 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 Yeah, man. yeah. You know, yeah. There's your, there's your dial That's on the way right. to do an <laughs> Yeah. No. Um... <laughs> oh, man. Hey, hey like, go. like, like go. a past interview, God yeah. Cloud. Shout out to God Cloud. Hey, you know what I'm saying? God, same God, same God, thing. Same thing. Like, hey, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm a hater. Like, right. I'm a hater. Jim was like, I'm a hater. I, I just don't, I think that this is like a very subjective thing. And so for me it to is, put my is. top five is kind of more about stylistically and some people who uh, I think just like do cool sh I mean, stuff um, that uh, when it comes down to like technique and or genre. So, uh, and this is definitely no particular order because I guess I should prefix it with I uh, really want people to just finger drum and do what they love to do, right? And continue to explore and innovate on what this art craft is, yeah. right? Okay. And so uh, I, I, for any of my, you know, what I consider to be top five, to me it has to do with the relationship that they have with the music or like what we have a relationship in terms of finger drumming or what I kind of, just kind of pay attention to, I guess. Um, right. So I, I, anyone out, outside of this top five does not mean you're not in my actual thoughts or top right. five moments, Absolutely. kind of. Right. And I want, I don't want anyone to take this top five as, a, oh, he didn't even think about me. No, you want my thoughts, but I can't sit here listing all y'all. Right. You right. know, it's, it's, a uh, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Of, it's a it's gang a of people. It's a lot, people. and it's a community. Right. Um. So with that said, uh. Number one, well, I won't even put them in, in like just say the numbers because that implies a ranking, no ranking. Right. Uh, I love pa Pancho Trackman. Uh, uh, he's uh, from South America uh, and does like, I just love his style. Shut up, Pancho. Um, Pancho. I really like Nuller Music, who is a kit style drummer who, um, so and, and I guess I should also I'll say this when I tell them I'll tell them the kind of finger drummer that they are right because there's okay. different styles. So Pancho Trackman, uh, P A N C H O underscore T R A K M A N, is um, 
a uh, sample like a live uh, live finger drummer with samples and uh drum kit so he triggers triggers the musical samples as well as the drum kit simultaneously that's part of that's like a, a, a an art shots. form yeah the war yeah. Shots. right yeah and and uh and, and specifically though he uh we all it's it's a non loop based one meaning that he's not triggering one that then loops on repeat right, right? he's uh, he's following the a tradition of triggering the samples in the order that they have to every single time in an organic live fashion right so um so he's got that uh then nolar music n-u-l-a-r music is a metal drummer okay so he he literally just does like almost gen style like dun, 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 you know what i mean kind of metal music but with finger drumming and he uses um i'm pretty sure it's the uh uh the ableton controller the 40 button one right. uh first throwing me off it's enabled but i think it's like the ableton live um there's a couple of yeah i think it's the ableton live ableton but ableton. he does but like he's a kit style player but because he's you know metal music can be very complicated different time signatures and rhythms and yeah. certainly a lot going on so again in terms of technicality that's there uh David Fingers Haynes, oh, someone wow. who I uh, uh, many of us uh, uh, call out as the OG, uh, OG of finger drumming, right? He's also a kit style player, but can do uh, a production uh, like one shot based stuff as well. Yeah. Um, but he primarily is a is a kit style player and phenomenal talent. Yeah. Um, and what that's partner. three that I mentioned. Um, let me see Benny on the beat. I'll give a shout out to uh, I love his um, just like he, he does more of like that boom bap soul kind of rhythm uh, and like his sample selection is phenomenal uh, and, and he's got a great style um, and then see that's the thing there are so many um, I'm gonna give a shout out to the host and say Mecca you know what I mean? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Man. Already, already. Oh, I, I think right. that I, to, you, know. you know, someone who uh, very easily, I think, falls through the cracks of the conversation. Mm, yes. You know what I mean? Dang. Like everyone's quick to shout out "Beast" by J. Black, "Trizzy Track," "Gnarly," and 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 I don't mean to say them with such a, a tone where it's like, "Oh, you the, 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 them," you know what I mean? Because well, those are obvious people, wonderful, they're, they're talented, obvious. beautiful people. Yeah, yeah they're talented, obvious. beautiful people, and I love them sincerely, right? So it has more to do with, uh, like, you know, I think that uh, there's so much, kind of like what, how we view underground rap. There's so much talent uh, yeah, in the yeah. underground. Right. That, I was waiting on it. I was waiting on you. You know, you know what I'm saying, right? Like, there's so much talent that's around there that doesn't get the uh, real uh, look at. There's another one, like, Ricky Feds. He's super good. Yeah. Um, and... I mean, there's a bunch. Yeah, there's just a bunch. Um, so I, uh, so I guess I broke the rules and went over five. So I apologize. Oh, that's cool. I say you had like two honorables. You can get yeah, two. Yeah, honorables. yeah. yeah. So you get away with seven. You know what I'm saying? There you go. Yeah. So, yeah. So or so. Be oh, Shogun Beats. Sorry, I also got a shout out Shogun Beats then too. If I have an opportunity for that, because he's a phenomenal okay. finger drummer and a guru out in Japan. Okay. okay. So. All right. Exactly. Sorry. Oh. Carry on. <laughs> Yeah, right yeah. with the name Shogun, I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> See? that's a nice list. That's more, nice more. I gotta check that. I gotta check a couple of these cats out. Like, more, I know, more I know most of them. You know, more, more homework. But there's yeah. still, you know, because I'm yeah. trying to tighten up myself. So yeah, and so before this interview ends, man, Doc Brass, respect to you for being on the show Absolutely. and taking your time. Oh. You know, um, what will be your words of encouragement for anyone whose destiny is intertwined with music? Mm. Um, music is something that is an expression of ourselves and we do it we we, we want to put this piece of ourselves that we hear and then uh, we then have the courage to share with the world and what I think the most important thing is to do is to do it without expectation uh especially when it comes down to music industry ex uh, expectation of people of you like you do you because you creativity is curbed by 
the business and the grind and the uh, the lack of pay and the lack of real shine because you're talking about being a droplet in an ocean. Um, right. And right. so it can, you just got to realize that we're all part of the same wave, just everyone listening. And, you know, you're the part of water that splashed on the beach to be with that human, I guess. That's right. You know? And with that being said, you know, it, it, this world is a game of thrones, man. Everybody holds a crown. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, yeah. No doubt. You know it. Yeah, so, um, okay, Doc, I know we, we ain't got too much longer, you know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to, I just want to know. Bring them uh, at me. Yeah, come on, uh, what you got? I'm trying, to shoot it, <laughs> I'm trying to shoot it real quick, but um, yeah, come on. who who was, who were your, like, straight out influences? Like, yeah. you know, did you have any any family members that, you know, got into production uh, or, or was there teachers or anything like that when you went to school that was like, yo, I, you know, that made you be like, yeah, I'm really going to get into this? That's a great question, man. No doubt. Um, so, yeah, my my most, so in terms of, uh, specifically for hip hop, and of Doom Always, right? Right. Uh, while he wasn't right. my introduction to hip hop, and that would happen with DMX and Eminem in elementary and middle school, right? Like, uh, MF Doom would be the like that was the the sha, you know, right in there. So, um, but in, in terms of uh, the more accurate answer to your question would be, uh, Nobuo Uematsu, the composer for Final Fantasy is the right. reason why I wanted to make music like period, right? And uh, right. I for the, okay. for the original uh, part of my life when I, uh, you know, I've always kind of had a, a, I've always been a musical person. So I did clarinet and flute and, you know, uh, then I got into guitar and bass. I was always like multi-instrumentalist, love music. Mm-hmm. Um, but what made me want to make music was video games and video game music and specifically Nobuo Uematsu's work. Word. Oh Final God. Fantasy, man. Hey, we, we, like, we, like, I think everybody Respect. here know about Final yeah. Fantasy. I yeah. sampled that a lot. Uh, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like, I was gonna say, yeah. Like, yeah. If, if you didn't sample Final Fantasy, like you was yeah. kind of tripped. Chrono Trigger and all that. Yeah. Oh, Final Fantasy oh, VII? Yeah, seven? Yeah, yeah, all that. Man, all of them. Fi- seven was just the uh, the peak. That was the most beautiful Final Fantasy ever. Oh yeah, Final have track. you guys heard of Vi- Vinyl Fantasy Seven? It was like an old remix. I know Vinyl Fantasy. Yeah, yeah. Right. Vi- Vinyl Where Fantasy is? Seven. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't look that shit. Oh, this is old. This is old, old, old. It's great. You guys would love it. Just go back. It's, it's yours. It's awesome. Yeah, oh, I sampled uh, uh, yeah. Final Fantasy on. Uh, there's a track that I did a single with with an MC uh, X fan back in the day that um, yeah. I sampled Final Fantasy Nine. Oh Word. yeah. Word. So, yeah. You know. All right, that's man. Dope. That's super dope, man. I got speechless on that. <laughs> oh yeah. So I yeah, definitely have to check that out. Um, so what's the first instrument you feel you mastered? Guitar. Guitar? That's for sure. Yeah. And, and um what's what's next for Doc Brass? Um, what's next for Doc Brass is we got two minutes, right? Here. Okay, focusing on the community and education work because that's something that I just feel very strongly and passionately about. So, like, a, awesome. you know, I'm I'm always doing after school stuff and trying to just give a, a space for for students to do that. So, like, uh, the whole superhero sanctuary program that I do, or like just you know the the nonprofit work that I do with that and building beats, uh, I'm very proud of, and that's really. Like the music to me is like an expression of myself that I put out there with the finger drumming, right? Is a talent that I like to try and like just like show off because it's fun and therapeutic. Yeah. Um, uh, but when it comes down to like who Doc Brass is, like he's someone who he's a, he's that musician, but he's also someone who ca- thinks that we can and should do better for everybody. Right. So you know, we just gotta. I'm at least gonna try and do my part with what skill set I have. No doubt. Awesome. Thank you for that. Doc Brass, the humanitarian. Yo, Doc Brass, the humanitarian. <laughs> Finger drumming you know, superhero. More, 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 yeah. more like broke ass educator. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you're good, you're good, man. Hey, man, educators have to be. You know what I'm saying? They no realize doubt. that. No Yo, doubt. Yeah. We, Yo, I hear that. Teacher, we, we need to get paid a lot more on the education yeah. level. My God, that's a whole separate yeah. issue. You're right. Yo, you're right about that. That's that's our show, bro. We out here, man. Thank you so much, Doug Brass. We out. Pat Masters Radio Show. Peace. You peace. know it. Thank you guys. Yo, peace. Thank you so much. <laughs>